Simplifying 2 cos of 2 theta plus 40 degrees is equal to sine of 2 theta minus 20 degrees. Where theta, 0 is less than or equal to theta, theta less than 180 degrees. Now solution. Now, if you look at this thing very well, you can see that we can still use addition formula of trigonometry identities. And he told you here that if we have sine A plus or minus B, you have what? Sine A mm -hmm, cos B, then plus or minus mm -hmm, cos A, then sine B. So if you have cos A, plus or minus b how do you simplify that you have cos a then cos b then minus or plus then sine a sine b so if you don't know this make sure you understand it at this level now from here let's take the second and the left hand side of this equation which says 2 cos of 2 theta then plus 40 degrees now let's keep 2 aside and let's take cos 2 theta plus 40 degrees so let's name this one as equation 1 and equation 2 so let's go to equation 2 then we have cos of a plus or minus b so it will be equal to cos anywhere you see here you are going to put 2 theta cos 2 theta then cos anywhere you see b you are going to put 40 degrees maybe i should help you to do that a is equal to 2 theta then b is equal to 40 degrees so cos 40 degrees and i told you that for cos when, when you want to simplify if you have plus, after simplifying, you have to have minus at the middle. So minus, that is why I have minus or plus. So minus sine 2 theta, then sine 40 degrees. So let's find the value of cos 30, 40 degrees. Cos 40 degrees. Calculator is allowed here because they have so I forgot. In right of answer in the one decimal place, so calculator is allowed here. So let's find cos 40 degrees. So, after gotten our value for sine 40 degrees and cos 40 degrees, cos 40 degrees is equal to 0 0.7660, sine 40 degrees is equal to 0 0.6428. So, we are going to substitute it into the equation. Then, So I have cos of 2 theta plus 40 degrees will be equal to cos 2 theta. Cos 40 degree, I'm going to write multiply by 0 0.7660. Then minus sine 2 theta. Anywhere I see, so let me put it inside the brackets. Anyway, I see sine 40 degrees, I'm going to put 0 0.64 and 2, 8. So let's simplify. I have cos of 2 theta plus 40 degrees will be equal to 0 0.7660 cos 2 theta then minus, minus 0 0.6. 4 to 8, then sine 2 theta. So, you have to recall the initial equation where 2 was involved. So, we have 2 cos of 2 theta plus 40 degrees will be equal to 2 into brackets. So, this same 2 
into bracket 0 0.766 cos 2 theta minus 0 0.64 through 8 then sine 2 theta. So, so I can now simplify it further and say that 2 cos 2 theta plus 40 degrees will be equal to I want to use 2 to multiply everything inside the bracket. So I have 2 multiplied by 0 0.766 cos 2 theta then minus 2 multiplied by 0 0.642 theta then sine 2 theta now let's multiply so now after multiplying 2 multiply by 0 0.766 cos 2 theta minus 2 multiply by 0 0.6428 sin 2 theta I got 1.532 cos 2 theta minus 1.2856 sin 2 theta so and I label it as equation 4 now let's go to the right hand side of this equation as well. So the right hand side is a um, sine of 2 theta minus 20 degrees. So you have to go to equation 1. That is when we have sine of a plus b. So since we have minus, it means that you have sine 2 theta. Then cos 20 degrees, then minus cos 2 theta, then sine 20, 20 degrees. So here we need to find cos 20 degree and sine 20 degree. So let's find that. So after gotten the value of cos 20 degrees, and sine 20 degrees, we are going to substitute it into this equation 5. Let's call it equation 5. So I have sine 2 theta minus 20 degrees is equal to sine 2 theta. Anyway, I say cos 20 degrees, I'm going to put 0 0.9397, then minus cos 2 theta. Anyway, I see sine 20 degrees, I'm going to put 0 0.342. So I have sine 2 theta minus 20 degrees will be equal to 0 0.9397 sine 2 theta, then minus 0 0.342 cos 2 theta. So that is equation 6. So since we have 2 cos 2 theta plus 40 degrees will be equal to sine 2 theta minus 20 degrees, that means there are values. The value of 2 cos 2 theta plus 40 degrees, which is equation 6, and the value of sine 2 theta minus 20 degrees, which is equation and the first one is equation 4 and the second one is equation 6. So we can equate them together since they say that they are equal to each other. So I can now say one, one, and uh, let's write it first so that I will not confuse you. Is equal to sign 2 theta and minus 20 degrees. So I have so one one point five three two then cos two theta then minus one point two eight five six sine two theta is equal to equation six. Is equal to 0 0.9397 sine 2 theta then minus 0 0.342 cos 
two, three times. So from here, you can bring everything to one side. So we have 1.532 cos 2 theta minus 1.2856 sine 2 theta. Then if 0 0.9397 sine theta, if it comes out, comes in, it becomes minus 0 0.9397 sine 2 theta. So the other one is minus 0 0.342 cos 2 theta. If it comes in, it becomes plus. So plus 0 0.342 cos 2 theta. Everything is equal to zero. So the next thing is that we have to collect like terms. So we have 1.532 cos 2 theta, then plus 0 0.342 cos 2 theta, then this one minus 1.2. 856 sine 2 theta then minus 0 0.9397 sine 2 theta everything is equal to 0 so now from here we can factorize cos 2 theta and sine 2 theta out so I have 1.5 Three two, then plus zero point three four two, then cos two theta, then minus. In open brackets, you have one point two eight five six, then plus zero point nine. 397. If you expand this, if you use minus to multiply everything inside this bracket, you are going to get minus 1 point something sine 2 theta, then minus 0 0.9397 sine 2 theta. So then you put sine 2 theta, then you equate everything to be equal to 0. So let's add. So adding everything inside the bracket gives me 1.874 cos 2 theta minus 2.2253 sine 2 theta is equal to zero so if you like you can bring um, everything with sine 2 theta you can bring it out or you just say that divide both sides by cos 2 theta both sides by cos 2 theta so, if I do that, I have 1.874 cos 2, cos 2 theta divided by cos 2 theta, then minus 2.2253, both sides, okay? So, let's take this one out. If I take it out, I have plus 2.253, then sine 2 theta. So divided by cos 2 theta. So cos 2 theta will cancel cos 2 theta again. Then recall that we can have tan 2 theta to be equal to sine 2 theta divided by cos 2 theta. So I have 1.874. So cos 2 theta has cancelled cos 2 theta. So is equal to 2.2253. And sine 2 theta over cos 2 theta has given me tan 2 theta. So I would like to isolate tan 2 theta. If I do that, that means I'm going to divide both sides by 2.2253. So dividing 
both sides by 2.2253 gives me 1.874 divided by 2.2253 is equal to 2.2253 times 2 theta divided by 2.2253. So 2.2253 2, 2, 2 will cancel 2.2253. So I have 1.874 divided by 2.2253 is equal to 10 to 3. Dividing, I got 0 0.8421 is equal to 10 to theta. Now, but what I want is theta. So I can now say that. Finding inverse of uh, tan. So inverse of tan is actan. So it will now be equal to actan 0 0.8421. So the inverse of tan will cancel tan. So I have 2 theta. Now let's find actan 0 0.8421. So at times zero point eight four two one gives me forty point one zero one is equal to two theta. So to make theta the subject of the formula, I'm going to divide both sides by two. Divide both sides by two. So two here will cancel two here. So divided by two gives me. Theta is equal to 0, 20.05. So from here, we are, we are have to make it to one decimal place. So my theta will be equal to 20. So approximately gives me 20.1 to one decimal place. So if you want to check, you can... Wherever you see theta inside that equation, you can put it there to, to check. 2 cos of 2 theta plus 40 degrees is equal to sine of 2 theta minus 20 degrees. So I have 2 cos of 2 multiplied by 20.1 plus 40 degrees is equal to sine of 2 multiplied by 20.1 then minus 20 degrees so this one will give me 2 into cos 40.2 40 plus 40 degrees is equal to sine of 40.2 minus 20 degrees so I have to cos 40.2 degrees plus 40 degrees gives me 80.2 degrees. Then is equal to sine of 40.2 minus 20 gives me 20.2 degrees. So then press the calculator. Pressing calculator. Cos 80.2 degrees gives me 0 0.1702. Then we multiply it by 2. Then sine 20.2 gives me 0 0.3453. So 2 multiplied by 0 0.1702 gives me 0 0.3402. Then if I equate it together, so it's almost the same thing. It's almost the same thing. So it's almost the same thing. So that's how to do that. So make sure you go through everything. If you have any challenge, let me know about.